uh, artistic is what we want. So drag, oh, yeah, going well, aren't I? Drag that out, and let's type in the word Halloween. And as you can see, I have the font called Alibi selected. Just select the font that you like. This one's sort of Halloween-y, so it'll work well for what we want. And as you can see here, it's probably a little bit thicker than what that one is. But let's shrink it down. Bring that bat up somewhat. Uh, if we want to thin it down, the easiest way is probably just to give an outline, black outline, adjust the outline. There we go. Let's thin it down a little bit. We can adjust the kerning. Uh, what I've done there is highlighted the text, hold the Alt key down, and I'm using the left arrow to adjust the spacing between the letters. And I think that's pretty good. And here we've got a little bit of a few dots in that, so why don't we, sort of the dots, let's use our eyes that we've got. It's a good use of those. Make different sizes. I'm just copy and pasting here, so Control C, Control V. You can get a little bit of creative if you want. My thing, obviously, have fun. Yeah, I think that'll do. We could keep going. We could Control C, Control V that. You know, get rid of the, you know, keep the outline. What we might do is change the red color down to a little bit darker, and then using our transparency tool, we can perhaps drag that up. We might change the color of that so it looks. So instead of dark red, why don't we go something like that, maybe? Yeah, do we like it? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe something like that. Maybe bring that uh, that down a wee bit. So there we go. And then perhaps Control C, Control V to copy that word again. So there's our copy. Change it to white. Change the outline to white. Change the foreground to white. Uh, maybe. Get rid of the background for now. And what can we do here? Let's have a look. What happens if we put a bit of a blur on it? So a bit of a blur, and then we've already got transparency on it. So it's not looking too bad. This is where the fun parts are, because you just play around until something something good happens. Normally an accident, and you go, oh, perfect. There you go, let me bring it down. What are we doing? We need to bring the foreground down. Now, of course, the cats look horrible where they're sitting. Let's get rid of those. Now what you can do, if you've already selected his little tip where, if you've got a transparency on something, you can hit Control G or right click and create a group. And that will allow you to then add a second transparency. Like that. And you can do it again, Control G. And you can keep adding them. Now this is handy sometimes if you need multiples. Yeah, maybe something like that. It's probably not needed, but. Let's have a look, let's ungroup it. And we like before or after? I think I might leave it like that. 
No. How about if we go behind? That might be a little bit better. Let's add a red glow. Let's take it back one more. There we go. It makes it stand out. I think that'll do. Not too bad. That was our original. That was from a AI generated image that we did earlier. Well, let me, that I did earlier. So there we have it. A AI generated image redesigned in Affinity Designer. The beauty of this is if we need to change it, alter it, make, make any sort of adjustment or even take it out to animate it, we have a full source file. Um, as much as I love AI, it is limiting, especially if you're doing it for a client and a client asks for specific changes. You then you find you have to go back into AI, you have to try and get some consistency with the image. Um, it, you can do it, it takes a lot of work, but it also takes the fun out of it. So uh, if you love drawing like I do, get in there, draw your own characters. And don't forget to watch our other videos. We've got some other videos in Affinity Designer and also uh, the other ones I do is 3D. So I'm a character designer by trade. So watch out for our other videos. Uh, if you like them, like, subscribe and ring that bell and hopefully we can bring some more soon. Cheers. Now, if you've made it this far, congratulations and well done. I hope your image turned out as well as expected or the way you were hoping. I hope you've learned something. Uh, I certainly enjoy creating these videos and, and showing different techniques and using Affinity Designer. Leave your comments down in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video because it really does help the algorithm and ring that notification bell and hopefully we'll have some more real soon.